So today we're going to talk about discontinued operations. Discontinued operations occur only when a company wants to sell a significant revenue generating part of the business. Keep in mind that this portion of the business must be able to be segregated from the remainder of the business. In fact, discontinued operations have to be a separate component of the business. What does that mean? It means that it has to generate its own net cash flows and be separable from the remainder of the company. Why is this so important? How could we separate discontinued operations from continuing operations if we cannot determine all the assets, liabilities and cash flows from this particular component of the business? It's not possible. So in order to report it separately, it has to be separable from the remainder of the business. Therefore, a component has to be a major line of the business or it has to be geographically separate. An example would be, for instance, if you're running a chain of hotels, one of the hotels would most likely be a component. Why? because that hotel would have its own assets, the actual building, all the equipment inside the building, the land that the building is standing on. It would have its own liabilities for purchases to the suppliers, and it would have its own cash flows in and out from paying for all the costs, as well as bringing in all the revenue. That's a separate component of the remainder of the business. Even if the business had 15 hotels or 100 hotels, that one hotel is a separate component of the whole business. What does geographical area mean? Imagine that you are running retail stores Canada wide and you decide to get rid of all the retail stores in say Quebec or all the retail stores in the Western provinces. This would be considered discontinued operations because it is a separate geographical area. In addition, all the retail stores in that separate geographical area would have their own assets, liabilities, and cash flows. Finally, a separate component of the business could be a division. For instance, a tobacco company that produces both cigarettes and cigars. The cigars would be a separate component of the business as long as it had its own assets, liabilities, and cash flows. Now, what does the word significant revenue generating part of the business mean? There is no definition in IFRS which indicates exactly what significant or major actually means. But this special category, discontinued operations, shouldn't be cluttered with the disposal of like a tiny line of the business. Only the major ones or significant ones matter. Why? because the discontinuance of a significant or major portion of the business would have a huge impact on the decisions of the stakeholders in the business. Only those discontinued operations which would change the minds of the stakeholders should be categorized as discontinued operations. What else is important to understand about discontinued operations? The designation as a discontinued operations only applies when the major segment is either one, already sold, so this would have already happened in the past, or two, is held for sale. This means that if the major segment has not as yet been sold, then all the requirements under held for sale assets or held for sale asset group must be met before you can indicate that it is a discontinued operations. So let's just clarify this for a second and give a few examples. Let's say you have equipment that meets all the criteria for a held for sale asset, or you have land building and equipment, not a major component, and it meets all the criteria for a held for sale asset. In both cases, this asset or asset group would be classified as held for sale. Amortization would be discontinued and the assets would be remeasured at their fair value less cost to sell and reclassified as a current asset. Any loss from the write down would be recorded in continuing operations on the income statement. This 
is an important differentiation between an asset or an asset group which is held for sale and discontinued operations. If the major component of the business has not as yet been sold, they must meet all the criteria for an asset held for sale. Depreciation or amortization must stop. The assets have to be remeasured at their fair value less cost to sell. However, the loss from writing down the assets of this major component, as well as any loss or profit from continuing to run this component of the business until the day it is sold, must be recorded separately on the income statement, net of tax. This is the major difference between something that is denoted as a discontinued operations and something that is simply denoted as an asset or an asset group held for sale. Discontinued operations.